Algebra 1, number 3.4b. This is expressions and equations. I'm going to talk about using equations to solve some word problems. So remember that equations have an equal sign and expressions don't. Okay, that's how you can tell them apart. Expressions don't have an equal sign. They just have a bunch of terms in them. Plus signs, minus signs, you know, the operation signs with numbers and variables, but there's no equal sign. So now we're going to use equations. They do have an equal sign. In the description of this video is a link to an entire playlist that I made about algebraic word problems. So if you want some extra help in algebra word problems, check out the description and click on the link and it'll take you to this big huge playlist that tells you how to do clue words and write equations and everything, okay? So we need to remember, the first thing we need to do is figure out what it wants. What is it asking for? The second thing is we come up with a plan to get what it's asking for. We choose our operation signs and variables. Then we solve it and check it to make sure we didn't make a mistake because mistakes happen. Remember, if you don't make mistakes, you probably will never make anything, okay? Everybody makes mistakes, okay? It's no big deal. Tala sold Girl Scout cookies, and she sold six times more than twice the amount that Emma sold. Tala sold 88 boxes of cookies, so how many boxes did Emma sell? Wow, that sounds confusing, doesn't it? She sold six times more than twice the amount that Emma sold? Okay, let's break this down. What do we need to find? We need to find how many boxes Emma sold. And what information do we have? Well, we know that Tala sold six more than twice what she did, and that is going to be that's going to be a total of 88, right? So now we're going to come up with a plan and a variable. We're going to let E equal Emma's boxes sold. So we know that if we have two times Emma, see, twice what Emma sold, if we have two times Emma and six more plus six, that's going to be the amount that Tala sold. And it already told us that Tala sold 88. So now our equation is 2E plus 6 equals 88. All we have to do is solve for E. That's not hard. We've done these kind of equations before. 2e plus 6 equals 88. We use the addition property of equality on each side of the equal sign to create a zero pair here. And now we get 2e equals 82. Now all we have to do is multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2, which is a half. It's the flipped around version of 2 over 1. We do it on each side. We get 2 over 2e is equal to 82 over 2. We divide 82 by 2 and get 41. We know that Emma sold 41 boxes. Now we also know because these were whole numbers, 2e equals 82, it wasn't a fraction, that we could have just divided both sides by this coefficient, this 2, 2 divided by 2, 82 divided by 2, to get a quicker answer, right? Okay, let's look at another one. Lisa drove 30 miles going 60 miles an hour. Okay, so don't let this confuse you. She was going 60 miles an hour, but so far she's only gone 30 miles. Okay, so how many more hours must she drive to go a total of 420 miles? All right, so her speed is 60 miles an hour, but so far she's only covered 30 miles of that. Okay, so think, what do we need to find? We need to find how many hours she has left to drive to go a total of 420 miles, don't we? And what information do we have? Well, so far she drove 30 miles, and she's going at 60 miles an hour. We have to come up with a plan, an equation with a variable. So let's let h equal the hours she still needs to drive. And 60h is going to be the distance she still needs to go, because she's going 60 miles per hour. 60h plus 30 is the total distance for the trip because that's the speed she's going, that's the time that it's gonna take her to get there, and that's how much she's gone so far, okay? Now we know that the total trip is 420 miles, so now we've got 60h plus 30 equals 420. Now we can use the addition property of equality on each side of the equation to make a zero pair here, can't we? And get rid of that 30. And now we've got 60h equals 390. We can go the quick way and divide both sides by 60 and do a little line division down here. And we see that it comes out at 6.5 hours. 
We could have also multiplied both sides by the reciprocal of the 60 as a 60 over 1 to 1 60th on each side of the equation. And we would have gotten 390 over 60 and we would have gotten 60 over 60 and it would have come out as six and a half hours. Just remember to use the labels, okay? You don't want to say six and a half miles, it's six and a half hours, right? So labels are very important in word problems, okay? Very important. And your teachers might get on you about that, all right? So remember your labels. What are you trying to come up with a number for? The miles, the hours, the boxes of cookies, the bananas, the monkeys, whatever it is, put that label in, okay? In 3.4c, we're going to talk about word problems that have rates in them. Like if Bob worked at five hours to complete a job and his buddy worked four hours to complete the same job, you know, a rate word problem, okay? And we'll do one or two of those real quickly in the next video, 3.4C. I hope I'll see you there. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you have a great day. Bye.